Mario, what are you doing? Quit sleeping, come on. We gotta get back to work. What up, guys? It's Tops, and I am back for some more Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. This is episode two, so let's get on with this. We're going back into Bianco Hills uh, for this section. So let's hop into this pipe. Uh, wait a minute. I don't have the sound turned on. There we go. And... All right, there we go. Now we have sound. Um, I don't know if sound was in the recording before or not until I just turned it on for me. I, I don't really know if it still records because I'm recording with Fraps right now. I don't know if it still records the sound or not, even if I have the volume turned off, but whatever. Now I have it turned on, so it's all good. Let's go up and get this shine now. We're going to be facing off against PD Piranha, so that's pretty cool. The first game uh, that PD Piranha has ever been in, um, you know, it's pretty cool that we're actually fighting him. I remember... Because I never played Sunshine, Sunshine, until, like, I was, um, about, like, 11 or 12, I think. Yeah, I think 11, actually, uh, was when I first played Sunshine. Uh, so, you know, because the Wii was my first Nintendo console, so, uh, back in the day when I was playing Mario Kart Wii or whatever, and I'd just see Petey Prawn in the background or playing, I don't know, Mario, whatever Mario spin-off games on there that had Petey Prawn in there. Even Galaxy fought against a PD Prana like enemy, I think, in the first. It was, uh, it was like a baby version of PD Prana. If you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but like, yeah, so I never really knew how PD Prana became the character. And then I played this game, I'm like, oh, so that's how. Uh, so this one boss fight actually made him a character. Got the series that would appear, and no, I. Alright, fine. I might as well just save. I don't even think I'm gonna try and ever catch these in, though. I'm, we're not doing blue coins, guys. I, I don't think I'm gonna do, um, like, all the shine sprites, either. I think we're just gonna do the mandatory ones. Um, I don't know. I'll see what happens with the series, but we're probably just gonna do the mandatory ones, because if not, this Let's Play probably will take a long time. And even though I do love this game a lot, I'm really not looking to have a long series with this, because I have a bunch of other ideas planned, too. Uh, that I need to have room for so um, Oh, let's just get the shines right up there. We can just hover above his head. We don't even have to fight him or not So it looks like PD Piranha isn't too happy That we came and tried to steal the shine sprite, but oh no Yeah. Alright, so now we're going all the way back down to the bottom of the window. Let's try and fight against him here. Alright, what's he gonna do? Oh, we got that enemy out of the way right there. Now he's gonna open his mouth really wide. Because he's gonna try and spit out ink, but nope. We're gonna give him a mouthful of water and just do a little ground pound there on his stomach, which must be very painful. And just get him that way. Alright, as soon as he tries to spit out some more ink, we'll go again with what? I actually don't know where you'd refill up on water, so if you run out of water, that must just be it. Like, you just lose, I guess. Maybe it gives you game over, even. I don't know. Um, they're not a game over, but you know, it would just like take a life away. Alright, there we go. Second hit. I believe we only have one more to go before this fight is over. So yeah, so far so good. Not too hard of a battle, because it's really the first real boss you face against, so it's not going to be too hard. Let's throw up some more water here. And that is it. Just one last hit to go. And yeah. Bye bye, PD Piranha. And here is the first shine spread of this episode. Now we have a total of three, only like 47 more mandatory ones to go. So let's save the game right there. Now we're back in Delfino Plaza once again. And it seems like one more of those paint piranha plant like thing this has popped up so should we go check it out yeah i guess we might as well let's go let's get rid of all 
other stuff. Let's actually back up a little bit so we're not sucking all this paint. Uh, I think this one is another one that has... I forget, did the one in Bianco Codes have six hits or was it only three? I think this one definitely has six though. Pretty positive. Yeah, because that was three and now it just goes back and it comes out again. Okay, so yeah, this one definitely has six hits. Still not too hard though, you just wait till it opens his mouth and just breaks it in. Same thing from before, nothing new changed, it's just now it takes some more hits to finish it off. Uh, so let's get that, that's the last hit. And now a new area should spawn, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so another M, let's spray that with some paint. And let's go in here, you know, why not try? I, I was gonna do it all in order at first, but um, you know, I kinda like going around to some different areas, exploring them. This one I know had a slight um, graphical glitch that um, doesn't really affect it too much. It's just at the beginning. So let's see if that still shows up here now. All right, guys, I am back. Sorry I had to go for a second. Um, pool cleaners came, it was pool cleaners. I was sitting here thinking someone was trying to break in my house because I just see the doorbell rings. And I guess after they rang and I didn't come there for like a couple seconds because I was like, up here recording so it took me a little bit to get down to the front door uh they just decided to start working so they went to my backyard i just come to the door and i see a white van sitting in my driveway and <laughs> there by the time like and then i look and i see like people like i thought they were sneaking around the house so i'm thinking like oh no someone's trying to rob me or something and i got like really nervous and then i realized i see them going over the pool and i realized that they're pool cleaners so I seem a little bit stressed right now, that's probably why, it was a little bit weird for a second, I thought there were people trying to break in my house, but nope, everything's all good. Uh, let's get back to some more Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, so yeah, everything's looking fine, if you guys were wondering about that graphical issue that I mentioned before, we actually did already pass it, and let's go back. Some of you might not have even noticed it, I don't know. Um, this bridge right here. It's a little bit glitchy. Like, um, see, like when how it's like shaking a little bit, like that. That's it's not really that big of a deal at all. That's why I said, you know, I think the sign's doing it too a little bit. You know, not that big of a deal, but you know, it's just a little something, I guess, uh, that you can notice if you're looking for it. Let's just do some of these spin jumps to get up here. go. Now we're up against um, this uh, blooper type boss, so that's going to be interesting. something I don't know I'm not doing that great right now um, what we're supposed to do is actually grab its tentacles that it has and then just pull them away first and then we could get to where we want to and grabbing its nose which probably really hurts I kind of feel bad for it there we go it's defeated no just kidding it's not gonna be that easy all right let's clear some of this move away some of these controls didn't all do like the same thing like pressing the B button like I wish like grabbing and diving wasn't the same because when I want to grab this I end up diving because I was running before I grabbed it like what why oh here we go no I didn't want to do that though there we go now we're making some progress let's get a coin here while we're at it and let's clear up some of that goop right there that'll probably make it easier you know what we might as well grab another arm I only got one arm left, I don't even know if it's gonna be able to do anything against us. Right here. Let's just try. And get rid of this. And there we go.
So, here it is, guys. Shine Sprite, not too bad. Oh, I lost a little bit more health than I probably should have. But, let's grab that. Save and continue. And, you know what, let's do... Yeah, let's do one more in Rico Harbor, actually. Why not? Super Surfing Safari. Alright, this one's an interesting one. Uh, not too bad, I used to think it was hard back in the day. But it's not really that bad at all. I think over here we might actually have a similar issue to what happened with... Somewhat with uh, some of the signs before and stuff like this is like like why is it doing that I don't know emulators aren't perfect though so you can't really blame it I guess let's, let's go ahead and take this like purple one and go to the level I don't think we had to talk to that guy I think he was just saying like oh grab one of these to go surfing but we already knew we could do that um, so let's just go I'm not even gonna bother about that blue coin let's go in here Alright, you want to ride? Go ahead and jump on the blooper you like best. Alright, um, let's go on the yellow one. It's in the middle. I don't know why, I don't really care what color we have, honestly, so I'm just going to pick a random one, I guess. And, yeah, um, nothing here is really too challenging. I know I'm probably going to say that and then die once. Hopefully, I won't die more than once. Hopefully, I actually don't die at all. Um, but we'll just see how this goes. It's not, even though it says time right there, you're not actually timed, like, there's no, like, certain time you have to complete on to get the, at least that I know of. I've never once lost because I didn't finish there and, like, the, you know, time that you had to get. Uh, so maybe there is a time and I've just always gotten ahead of that. I think we're actually going a little bit slow. Maybe I should speed this up a little bit. Uh, but I don't think it matters. Yeah. Alright. So there we go have the shine sprite now so let's go and get it all right all right there we go all right another shine sprite so now we have five total so that's pretty cool let's continue and now a new area has arose so that's pretty cool it's actually going really quick like these new areas popping up but you're gonna see as these new areas come then all of a sudden it's just gonna be like that's it like no new areas coming up for you after like a little bit because there's only seven total oh spoiler alert but i don't even think it matters uh since it's not really that big of a spoiler anyway and this game is like 13 years old so um yeah so um wow i can't believe it's that old already though uh but yeah, so this is already three out of the seven, so the fact that we're like, what, not even maybe ten percent into the game as of now. And we already have um you know, three out of the seven areas, like that's a lot. Uh oh, is this window even selected? I don't think it's selected anymore. Because I just had one of these update things coming up for some other software. I don't even care about, that's why I haven't quick downloaded the update for the past like three months that I've been getting this message, because I really don't care. I'm honestly probably just going to download this update so it'll shut up and stop saying update. I really hate when programs just like say, say that, like I get it, if when you turn on something, then yeah, okay, then ask, ask me for an update if I turn it on. Um, but I'm not even using it, like I've never used this software, it's just one of those built-in softwares that just came with my computer when I first got it, some like cloud storage thing. I don't even know why you'd have to update it, it's on the cloud. Because that just exists on some server on the internet somewhere. But, why? I, I, first of all, I, I would never even use cloud storage. I don't really see a point for it. Um, I know a lot of people do like it, but it's just not for me. I just prefer to have things stored on my computer. Um, and, yeah, if I've never used the application once, why is it begging me to update it? I don't really get this. I'm, you know what, I should probably just stop complaining and go into settings on my PC and actually turn off notifications for updates for that, uh, but, you know, with 
that's kind of a, it's a bit of work, just even though it's not really that much, it's still, you know, just for something that, why is it even showing up in the first place, but anyway, enough ranting about that, let's just go to Gelato Beach. The Dune Bud and Castle Secret. So let's go over here. And I don't think this is the correct one, but it does give you some coins. So, as you can see, when you spray those things with water, different things pop up, which is pretty cool. I don't want these things to get you because then that's just annoying. Yes, that wasn't very convenient that we just got launched in the air right there, but it doesn't even matter because now that the cutscene's over, we're already back down. So let's just spray this ground a little bit so we can go a little bit faster and get through here. So this is going to be one of the more challenging missions, I guess you could say. I don't think this one is that hard. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, this one isn't too bad. It's a little bit challenging towards the end, uh, just because of perspective. Um, but you actually can change the camera around completely, which is nice. Um, you know, if you try to do it with the camera the same way the whole time, then it does get a little bit hard. Um, but, you know, as long as you change around the camera, it's not too bad. And, whoa, I do not want to change the camera like that. I should have just left the camera normal until I got to the part where you actually needed to change the camera around. Uh, because now my it's slightly off, and it just makes it kind of annoying. Let's see. Now we have some time. Let's try and just, yeah. Get it as close to normal as possible. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, good. Good. At least, at least we're back up here now. Um, all right, so there's Shine Sprite. I'm gonna go here, 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 up here, here, up here, and uh oh. Oh, they respawn. Good. That is actually amazing. I'm so happy that they respawned, um, because if they didn't, we would have been stuck. There wouldn't have been any possible way by now to get that shine sprite. But, uh, there we go. Um, the reason why I wasn't really jumping too high, I didn't want to jump over the platform, because that would have been really bad. Um, there we go, we got six now, so that's pretty good. Now we're back here in the field plaza once again. I think we'll go for one more shine sprite. I don't really know how long this episode's been going for. Uh, but, you know, we have the time, so why not, you know? Let's just go here. These Shine Sprites actually haven't been that long. Later on, we will have some missions that are a little bit longer than these. Um, but for now, it's not... Oh! Right as I say that, we have this one. I remember this one. This one is annoying. Alright, our first annoying mission. Oh, look at the top of the tower. Yep, this is gonna be just great. But honestly, it's not even really bad. It just, it's a little bit tedious. That's really what it is. Um, nothing, like, terrible, though. Nothing that you get, like, a game over from. Like, it's not one of those things where it just gets, like, really hard right at the end and then you have to redo everything. Um, it's just a little bit time-consuming, so maybe not the best thing to do when, you know, when we have a little bit of time left. But, you know, I mean, there's no restrictions on the time. It's just, like, my preference to keep the episodes between like 20 and 25 minutes, but if it goes a little bit over that, then it doesn't really matter. Um, let's actually try and get up here first. Um, how are we gonna do this? And now, now get up. Oh, of course, we get the one with three of them. Alright, so let's try, what, what do we have to do? We have to ground pound it, or? I, I'm trying to remember what we have to do. Drive it to the edge and then pound the opposite side. Okay. Alright, come on. Let me get to the opposite side. But now they're just walking around here. Alright, this is very annoying. How am I down to this health? Holy crap. I was just saying how it's like, doesn't take any health away from you. And meanwhile, now I'm already down. This makes no sense. What? What? Are you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Holy crap. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Alright, that wasn't... That was more like laughing than rage. Hopefully we don't get to see some actual rage. 
That was just kind of funny though, like, what? Yeah, hopefully this episode doesn't go into full outrage. Episode 2 full outrage is never a good sign for a Let's Play. Especially when it's a game like this that I always love so much. Um, it can actually... This game, even though I do love it a lot, it is known to get really tedious at some point. It's just so annoying. Maybe we should start out with the one that has one guy on there and then do the three one last. Uh, because the third is definitely the uh, hardest by far. Uh, so... Yeah, maybe we should try and get the hang of it, because I haven't done this mission in forever. I, I don't even really remember what we're, what we're supposed to do completely. Uh, so... Alright, let's, let's get up here. And we're gonna actually want to go. Oh, wrong nozzle. Come on. Now we can get up here. And... Alright. I think we can make it. Yup. Get him all the way down there. And do that. Oh, that's easy. Well, the first one's easy. The next two probably aren't going to be too easy. Um, there we go. That's one down. Maybe we could just hover there from tree to tree. Let's see. Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks like we actually can do this. I don't know, let's see if we can make it up here. And we can. Maybe we should just do this one at a time. Like, we'll get him here, and then... No, we have to do it two at a time, I guess. Oh, no. Don't do this again. Don't do this again, game. There we go. So maybe we just have to get one to start to fall off, and then try and get the other one on the same side. It's still, like, very annoying when, like, more than one of them come up, though. How are we already down this much water? Ha I, I don't even get how this makes any sense, how we're down that much water already, like, we haven't used, like, any. Um, alright. Where's the last one? Here. I'm probably gonna end up having to refill on some water, because I think you actually do use a lot when you just run around spraying it. Alright, come on. You can go back there, too. Are you kidding me? I can't even tell what's going on with this depth perception right here, because it's so impossible to even know what is going on at all. Alright, you can go back there, too. And last but not least, you get to go to Oh, this depth perception, you can't even see anything. Like, I cannot tell if he's right next to me or if he's like so many spaces behind me. I really cannot tell what's going on with this terrible camera right now. Um, forgive my rage. Oh, oh, you can take him out one by one. That makes it a lot easier, actually. Um, I'm running out of water. It's not, okay, come on, chill, chill. This death perception. If it wasn't for this terrible death perception, um, then I'd be fine here. Um, because it's really not that bad. Like, here with one left, it's not gonna be bad at all. I can just, even though I'm running a little bit low on water, like, I'm just gonna be able to do this easily. When you have three with that death perception, like, you cannot tell if it's right next to you or if it's very far away from you. Um, you, you just have, really have no idea. Uh, so it makes it very challenging. But there we go. We got that down. And the Shine Sprite, I think, is a completely far away, just a complete troll by putting all the way over there, like, the farthest spot on the map that it possibly could. So, yeah, that's interesting. Alright, let's just take another nozzle, because even though we don't really need water, um, maybe we can just spray some on the ground so it can, like, slide faster, because I think this actually does work. Alright, let's get over here now. There we go. Seventh shine is complete. There we go. Alright. So now we have seven total shine sprites. That's pretty neat. And I think we'll be wrapping up the episode right about here. I think that's a good time to do that. Um, so guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps out. Thank you guys for the support. 
Um, also, if you want to come follow me on Twitter, you can via the link in the description below. It's a great way to connect with me, um, see updates and stuff like that. And um, I will try to respond to as many people's tweets as possible. Um, so, you know, don't hesitate to come and tweet at me or whatever. Um, but anyway, guys, this is it. Uh, this is Tops, and I'm out.